Hi there! So this is going to be my first tutorial on this channel, which I'm kind of nervous about. Right now I have absolutely no makeup on. I'm right out of the shower and my hair is tied back. If you were wondering what this tutorial is going to be on, it's uh, inspired by one of my favorite actresses, uh, Yvonne Strahovski in the show Chuck, and she plays Sarah Walker, and I really like how they do her makeup. Most of the time she has a really nice, natural, easygoing look. I'm not gonna put a picture up and be like, okay, this is the goal. Um, it's just inspired by, it's not completely copied, so hopefully you like it. Okay, so now my face is cleansed and spot treated and everything, so now I'm going to be using my foundation primer from Laura Mercier. I'm just going to take a few dots of this and put it all over my face. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to be using is my concealer, which is, oops, put the cap back on. My concealer, which is, oh my gosh, Boing from Benefit. And I'm just going to put this right along my chin area. and then right under my eyes as well. So my foundation is kind of a favorite at the moment for the beauty community, but it's the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua um, foundation, and I am in the shade BR10, which is beige rose, because I have a little bit of pink in my skin, so, oops, forgot to shake it up. And I use my fingers for my foundation. I don't really have a foundation brush. Um, I like it better that way, so. I'm just gonna apply this to my skin, just like so. So as you can see, it just gives the skin a really nice, even texture. And um, it blends in pretty well. So the next thing I'm gonna be using is my Mineralize MAC Skin Finish. And this is in the color Blonde. I love this stuff and I get so many compliments whenever I wear this. I'm just going to go like just in the middle right there so I can get a nice combination of the two colors. Yeah, awkward silence. And then I'm going to use a little bit more of the highlighter just above my cheekbone. I really need to get my brows done, but for right now, I'm just going to be using my Anastasia Brow Gel, which I should show you. <laughs> Anastasia Brow Gel. Yeah. It's just clear. Nothing fancy. So I'm just going to go in. And this just keeps my brows... In place. The next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm focusing on my eyes. So I have my my Tarte. What is this? This is Tarte Lifted Natural Eye Primer. I've been liking this a lot better than my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Potion or my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. So I'm just gonna put this all over my lid. So for my eyes today, I'm going to be using my Tarte. Femme Natural palette, um, and it has those colors right there, really, really pretty color. I'm going to be using the bottom rows of colors. I'm actually not going to be using that black one. It's too dark for the look I'm going for. For this, I'm going to use the brush that came with the palette just because I'm lazy and I can't find my MAC brush right now. But um, So I'm going to be using this, what color is this? The Golden Hand Shadow, which is right there. Sweep this from my lash line all the way up to my brow bone. This is a pretty sheer color, but it still gives a really nice shimmer, too. And now um, I'm going to apply the Soft Rosebud, Oopsie. which is right there. It's like a very light, it's kind of a light pink with a little bit of purple in it. <laughs> okay, the next thing I'm going to do is use this really, really pretty, it's probably my favorite color of the palette. Um, 
golden plum shadow. I'm just gonna put this right along my crease right here. Yeah, this is just the prettiest color ever. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is use a little bit of this brown right here. I said I was only gonna use the bottom brown. Ooh, right there. It's kind of like a burnt, I think it is called burnt sienna, but um, it's just a nice, pretty brown. And now, just for a little more pop to my eyelids, I'm going to put on my MAC paint pot in Rubenesque. My lighting does not do it justice, but it's such a pretty color. And I'm just gonna apply this right in the inner corner of my lid. And now for my eyeliner, I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm not gonna use black because that's, I don't, I don't see a lot of black on um, Yvonne and Chuck. I see more of like a golden brown. So this came in my birch box and it is my Stilla Smudge Stick Waterproof Liner in the color Lionfish. It kind of does look a little black on my camera, but it's not, I swear. So that's done. And then to do my bottom, my bottom side of my lashes, I'm gonna be using my Tarte um, long wearing eyeliner and it's double sided. It's the golden bronze right here. And I already curled my lashes. So now I'm going to be using my Dior Show Iconic Mascara. Ooh, that's reflective. And this is in the shade 090. Brush looks like in case you were wondering. So now the eyes are done. Now we're gonna do the lips. So for my lips, I'm going to prime my lips first using my Mint Juleps um, Lush Lip Scrub. Scrub this on. People find it gross to lick it off. It tastes so good, I don't really care. And then for my lips, I'm gonna be using my Revlon Lip Butter in the shade Creme Brulee because it's just a very nice, natural color. And then for my lip gloss, I'm going to be using my NYC Liquid Lip Shine. And I don't know what shade this is in because it doesn't say. Oh wait, yes it does. New York City. So this just gives a little extra shine. And that is the makeup. So now our makeup is done and now we're gonna do our hair. Be using is my Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray, which is this. Um, I love this stuff, and I just use it. All over my head. Okay, so now I'm going to be using my hair diffuser on my really crappy hair dryer. It's the Conair Ionic Cord Keeper. I'm going to mute this now so you don't have to listen to okay Okay, so now the mo most of the part is done, but I have to let it air dry a little bit because that's part of the look. So this is what the hair looks like after it dries a little bit. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys like this. And before I forget, hello Tucker and Heidi as well because she asked me to do a hair tutorial. So I mixed it in with my makeup tutorial as well. Um, this is my first time doing this, so I'm so sorry if I was awful and awkward at explaining stuff. Hopefully I get better. I don't know if I will, but hopefully I will. So, yeah, um, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.